Good evening everyone. Another Sunday has come and gone here and we're going to open up another box. This time it's going to be a box of 2011 Press Pass Elements. This box has two rookies in it that we're going to be looking for. It's actually got three. Jessica Bernelli is one, but the other two is Brandon McReynolds and the, the key rookie we're going to look for in this box is Chase Elliott. It's got some other insert cards, parallels, autographs, race used, memorabilia. There you see one autograph and one memorabilia card per box. Uh, there's the odds if anybody's interested in the odds. Just kind of get a look at all sides of the box. This is a hobby box. It is a recent eBay purchase. I got it earlier in this week. I just haven't had time to open the box to see what we could get out of it. So get to ripping here in just a moment. So hopefully we'll pull some really good cards out of this box. There's a mystery pack. I'm not quite sure what that's about. We'll open that in a little bit. Looks like there's random drivers and cars on the fronts of these packs. I see Kyle Busch and Danica Patrick so far. So let's go ahead and get to ripping on these packs and see who and what we can pull. Always like the Element cards. I believe their first run was in 2009. This set, of course, is by Press Pass. There you have Element Dream Team with Gordon, Dale Jr., Mark Martin, Jimmy Johnson. Pretty spectacular team at the time. I do like these cards because they have the driver and a car shot on the front. And on the backs of the cards, just some basic information about the driver, perhaps the team. Maybe a spot for an autograph if you like your autographs on the back. These cards do have a bit of a flat finish, which I appreciate because these are great for getting autographs. We talked about that in the personal autograph video. Sunday Sensations insert, Green Parallel, Denny Hamlin, we'll put that one aside. Brad Keselowski, Matt Kenseth, and Dream Team of Michael Waltrip Racing with Michael Waltrip, MPJ, and David Rudeman. These packs are a little harder to open. They're kind of a, a thick plastic. That makes them a little bit tougher to perhaps search, which is good for people that don't like pack searchers. So we have Harvick, and there is our relic. Joey Logano, flagship performers, race use blue and yellow flag, numbered 13 out of 50. So very nice card. 3,434 2010 green flag passes. Let's look at the back of this. So there you go. Right out of the box we get a nice race used card or relic, however you prefer to say it. Say it. Kyle Busch, Dale Jr., and Logan Ruffin, Undiscovered Elements. That may be a rookie card of him. I'm not sure. The Beckett really didn't say I've got the Beckett right here. Let's see what it says. Yeah, I guess it is. Uh, and Cole Witt also has a, a rookie card as well as Logan Ruffin. So I did forget about those two guys. So Logan's card will get sleeved in a rookie top load. As well as the others that I may pull. So we have Ambrose. High Octane Vehicle. Looks like Greg Biffle from 2002 when he won the then Bush Series Championship. That's a nice card. Set that one aside. Denny Hamlin, Johnny Sauter Truck Series, and Michael Waltrip. Just opening these off camera, it's a little bit easier to do so. Trevor Bain. Is that Tony Stewart? Yes. Austin Dillon, Kevin Harvick, Juan Montoya, and Danica. No, I'm sorry, that's Mark Martin. I see a Go Daddy car, my automatically think Danica. And there's the fronts of the two packs that you can see, the Danica and the Kyle Busch. If we see <coughs> if I see any others, I'll make sure to point those out for you. So here we have Regan Smith. 
and Sunday Sensations Greg Biffle. Looks like we have an insert here. Tales of the Track, first in flight. Is that Curtis Turner, maybe? Paul Goldsmith. Paul Goldsmith. So we have Kevin Harvick, top performers, Hamlin and Johnson, and Clint Boyer when he drove for Richard Childress. I like these packs, they're just a little difficult to open. A little more difficult than the foil packs. So we have Bobby Labonte driving for James Finch. Dream Team, Joe Gibbs, Kyle Busch, Joey Logano, Denny Hamlin. Bill Elliott driving for the Wood Brothers. Brian Scott, who is now retired. Michael McDowell, who drives for Front Row Motorsports now. And Jimmy Johnson who in 2020 and is in his last season of NASCAR Monster Energy Cup, or whatever they call it next season. I believe NASCAR has a tiered system of sponsorships for the Premier Series. <coughs> Excuse me. We have A.J. Elmendinger. There's the Cole Witt rookie card we were just mentioning, the Undiscovered Elements. Put that one aside. Cole is also retired from NASCAR a couple of years ago. Kevin Harvick. When he was driving for Childress, we have Jimmy Johnson, Jamie McMurray, Brickyard 400 win. I was at that race. That was a pretty good race that day. And David Rudeman. Our next pack leads off with Mike Skinner in the truck series. I believe that was a Bill Davis racing truck. Brian Vickers for Red Bull Racing. Looks like Casey Kane, no 2001, so that would be Bill Elliott, when Dodge made their return to NASCAR. Jeff Burton, Brad Keselowski, driving for Penske, and here's the Penske Dream Team card with Kurt Busch, Keselowski, and Sam Hornish Jr., Next pack leads off with Denny Hamlin, Sunday Sensations, Jamie McMurray, Tony Stewart again, Dale Jr., top performers Jeff Gordon, I believe that's the first time we've seen Jeff on an individual card, and Brendan Gaughan, who also recently, well, I don't think he officially announced his retirement, but he has pretty much scaled back, he only ran four cup races this past year. He may run the Super Speedways again next year, but that's to be determined. We have Denny Hamlin starts off the next pack. We have, who's that, Jamie McMurray, most polls in 2010. Ooh, NASCAR Hall of Fame card, Dale Jarrett, class of 2011. Very nice card. Always like these Hall of Fame cards that were randomly sprinkled throughout the press pass line. So we'll put that one aside and another insert. Tales of the Track. So I'll let, let you guys read that for just a moment. Then we have Ricky Carmichael, Dale Jr., and Kyle Busch. Of course, Ricky Carmichael, former motocross champion, transitioned into NASCAR, spent a couple seasons, and is no longer racing in NASCAR right now. So we next pack opens up with Greg Biffle. Ricky Stenhouse Jr., first time we've seen Ricky today, and Josh Wise, who is also no longer driving. Ryan Newman, Kevin Harvick, and Casey Kane, who retired a couple seasons ago due to health issues. <coughs> so we'll slide those packs around a little bit. So let's see here, we start off with this pack with Mark Martin, Brian Eichler, former Kyle Busch Motorsports developmental driver, green parallel of Brian Vickers, those are not numbered, dream team Brian Vickers, Casey Kane, of course 2011 was the last year for the Red Bull team, Kurt Busch, and Jeff Burton.
Oh, these packs are a little difficult to open. I'm struggling with this one just a little bit. There we go. So we lead off with Greg Biffle, Bobby Levante, and there's our autograph. Looks like David Reagan. Not a bad autograph to get. Let's look at the back of it. So we'll get that one sleeved up shortly. And then we follow that up with a David Reagan base card. Brad Keselowski and Matt Kenseth. <coughs> Looks like we have about eight more packs to go, maybe. Plus this mystery pack. I don't know what those mystery packs are about. but So we have another JGR Dream Team card. Bill Elliott again. Then the High Octane Vehicle, Jimmy Johnson, 2007 Impala. Michael Walter Bracing Dream Team, Kyle Busch, and Dale Jr. Top Performers. Most green flag passes in 2010. Still looking for that Chase Elliott rookie. That's the key rookie, the key base card in this box. There's the Jessica Brunelli rookie card we mentioned earlier. So we've got three of the five, and there's another Logan Ruffin card, so we pulled two rookies out of this pack. Still don't have the one that we're looking for, which is Chase Elliott, or the Cole, I think we did pull the Cole Witt one earlier. So now we have Justin Lofton, former Truck Series driver. Tony Stewart, base card. Here we go, this is highlights from 1987, the Winston, the All-Star Race. Jeff Bodine being spun by Bill Elliott. So there you see 1987 All-Star Race right there on the front, or on the back of the card. Michael Waltrip, Kevin Harvick, and Juan Montoya. <coughs> Excuse me, David Rudeman. Joey Logano, Dream Team Roush Racing, there's Kenseth, Edwards, Biffle, and Reagan, Mark Martin, Kevin Harvick, and Top Performers, Most Wins, Jimmy Johnson, and Denny Hamlin again. I believe we've seen that card at least one time before, maybe twice. So now we finally have a Jeff Gordon base card. We haven't seen this one yet tonight. Top Performers, Jimmy Johnson. Green Parallel Mike Skinner, Clint Boyer, Brian Scott, and Michael McDowell. Now we do have six packs left. Still looking for the Chase Elliott rookie card. So we have Matt Kenseth, Top Performers, Most Laps Completed 2010, another Jessica Brunelli, and a Jamie McMurray Green Parallel. Jamie McMurray, Brickyard Wynn, David Rudeman, and Jeff Burton. So we're hitting pretty good on the other rookies. We're just shooting all around, but we haven't hit the Chase Elliott. So we've got five more packs to go. Hopefully we can hit the Chase Elliott rookie. Scott Speed, first time we've seen him today. He races now in the uh, Red Bull World Rallycross Series. Another nice Hall of Fame card. So we'll put that one... There's Brandon McReynolds. We haven't seen Brandon McReynolds yet, so that's a nice rookie card. It's the second best rookie card in this set. By uh, book value, if you believe what Beckett says. But yeah, I'll take a Brandon McReynolds rookie. Would really like to hit the chase. Elliott rookie card, of course. Travis Quapel, who's been in and out of the truck series the last few years. We have Dream Team Chip Ganassi, so you got McMurray and Montoya. And high Octane Vehicle, 2010 Dodge Challenger. Can't read whose the name is on that. Justin Allgaier, so that would be when he was in the Bush series. Keselowski, sorry about that. Kurt Bush and Joe Nemechek father, of course, of John Hunter Nemechek. Down to the final three packs. Come on, press pass. We need that Elliott, Chase Elliott rookie card. We got Carl Edwards, Jimmy Johnson, and there it is! 
we hit it. The Chase Elliott rookie card. Of course, they were called Undiscovered Elements at that time. Let's flip it over and get a look at the back of the card. Very nice. Very happy to hit that card. Very well centered. Good job, Press Pass, for getting your centering good anyway. We know other card companies over the years have had issues with centering. So we have Carl Edwards, Jimmy Johnson, and SHR Dream Team, Stewart, and Newman. Two more packs to go. We still could pull another Chase Elliott rookie. I would like that a lot. I, like a lot of people, do enjoy rookie cards. So we have another Carl Edwards. Taylor Malsum, former Truck Series developmental driver for Kyle Busch Motorsports. Then we have Tales from the Track, Fire on Board. There's Ned Jarrett, I believe that's 1964 at Riverside. Oh, 1966. Uh, but the pit fire that's pictured on the front, I believe, is 1964 at Riverside. And you have Jeff Burton, Danica, first time we've seen her, and James Busher former Truck Series champion and cousin of now Roush Racing driver, Chris Busher. We are down to the final pack, plus we have this mystery pack. So our final pack gives us a Martin Truex Jr. Every time I see a Napa uniform, I immediately think Chase Elliott. But this one in Napa was with Michael Waltrip Racing, Ryan Newman, Mark Martin, Jeff Gordon's car, Jimmy Johnson, and David Reagan. So let's see what the mystery pack is all about. It just says PressPacksInc.com. 2011 mystery pack. I don't know if it's an autograph, a relic, a parallel, or just some random base set card that they wanted to put in a special foil package to. And it is a Jessica Brunelli certified autograph. Wow. Well, that's nice. Numbered 17 of 225. So we got kind of a bonus autograph card in there. So let's look at the back of that again. Now, owner of certified. So very nice. We got two autographs out of that box. So our nice hits for the day were the Joey Logano flag, uh, blue and yellow passing flag card there. And as you've seen, we did just just pulled the Jessica Brunelli, the Chase Elliott rookie card, the one that we was definitely going for. Brandon McReynolds rookie, the second best rookie card in the set. And then our other autograph, the one that was basically advertised as guaranteed in the box, the David Reagan. So very nice, very nice cards out of this box. Again, this was an eBay purchase, so I did enjoy pulling these cards out. We'll get these sleeved up shortly. But I want to thank everybody for watching. Hopefully we'll get a couple more videos out this week. Just was really busy this week and didn't have an opportunity to do a video. So, as always, throw me a follow there on Twitter, at Hallie Emery. Please keep watching, like, subscribe. Once we get to 100 sub subscribers, somebody will be the lucky winner of a 1998 VIP Tony Stewart rookie card. Again, I keep advertising that. I know eventually we'll get there. It may take us a little while, but we'll keep sledding and we'll get it done. So everybody enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening. Have a good work week. Thanks for watching. See you next time.